Hello everyone, Blaze here, welcome to the third video in three days. What the hell's going on? <laughs> this is the Sentai Filmworks August 2015 uh, solicitations. So uh, basically this month it's mainly stuff that's coming out on DVD and will later come out on Blu-ray. Because, well we'll get to it. And uh, there's also, the other stuff is mainly just volumes of stuff that we've already previously had releases of or will do. But by the time these ones obviously come out. Anyway, whatever. Uh, Sakura Trick Complete Collection is the first one. This is DVD only, but this will probably come out on Blu-ray later on. It's a TBS Entertainment or TBS show. Or at least they hold the rights or whatever. And they, they are apparently withholding the Blu-ray rights. They've done it with other releases that Sentai have done. None come to mind right now. But uh, it's a common thing so it's basically as soon as Sentai get the rights to at least the DVDs they'll put those out and then later on down the line they'll put out the Blu-ray once they get the rights to that but yeah uh, sub only Sentai they have been dubbing less and less recently it's it's something that I think is definitely becoming apparent but anyway uh, here is the cover for Sakura Trick it's a Yuri series about all these girls, I'm pretty sure it's an all-girls high school, probably makes sense if it's a Yuri to some extent. Um, that tends to go hand in hand when it comes to anime. <laughs> but uh, yeah, with basically lots of girls just all um, uh, coupling up, I guess. Um, yeah, standard Yuri series, I don't really have much interest in it, but it seemed to be a pretty... Uh, seemed a lot of people liked it when it came out, so yeah. Uh, it's got a nice logo to it uh, up here. I quite like the logo and the font here, but I think this shot will change. It's a bit plain and standard. It's a nice group shot, but it doesn't look like what you'd have on a final cover sort of thing. It's a bit too standard. But so then again, for the complete Blu-ray collection of what was it, Pet Girl of San or whatever it was called, they used the shot just like this. So who knows? But yeah, I think this will probably change. Uh, next we have Space Brothers Collection 4, DVD and Blu-ray obviously again, subtitle still obviously, <laughs> and uh, here is the collection cover. Um, this will not change because this is what all the previous free covers look like, so yeah, still really happy this is coming out. Hopefully uh, Sentai definitely have more than the original 50 episodes, there's always that thing you get where when a company licenses a show, often they'll license the initial 50 and then you know we'll purchase the others after the initial 50 have uh, either done enough numbers to warrant it but I fear I feel in the case of Space Brothers it's almost certain that Sentai have all of it just because of the covers they're doing because on the spines there'll be a, a, a an image that will form of the two brothers once you get all the spines together and there's also the fact that the covers where you have the moon on the top and the uh, atmosphere of the earth, the clouds or whatever, uh, on the bottom, and then the silhouette in the middle that's being made with the starry sky will look like a space shuttle, at least that's the idea anyway, I'm pretty sure that's the idea, but um, weird thing with this is that each cover has had the two brothers on it, which I find strange because uh, it just seems like, you know, you're going to have the spine image which is going to be the brothers, and every single volume we could probably uh, estimate now will definitely have the brothers on it for the front cover. It's just it's fine. It's called Space Brothers. These two are the main characters. It makes sense, I guess. But when you think about it, if you if someone's already invested enough to be collecting the entire series and they have Collection Four and will obviously get the others as well, you think that there's no reason why Sentai can't diversify their character choices for the front covers because if someone's invested, then it doesn't really they don't need the the two main characters on the front cover anymore because you know someone's already invested in getting the show so they're not no one's gonna look at Space Bros Collection 4 and buy just that one they're gonna buy the first one first obviously so you, you kinda get what I mean so there's no reason to keep saying on each cover effectively this is about these two guys this is about these two guys this is about these two guys because you know there are other characters so I mean you'll see it with pretty much any show that gets released through volumes that they diversify the character choices on the cover but for some reason Sentai haven't done that with Space Brothers but eh, it doesn't really matter but it's just one of those things I'm kind of like well it would have been nice if we had this other characters on the cover I guess. Anyway moving on uh, we've got Captain Earth Collection 2 which is still subtitle only obviously that's still 
Oh, that's painful. It really is. I can't believe that's only going to be subtitled, but I really wanted the dub for this. But anyway, yeah, DVD and Blu-ray. This is Collection 2. Uh, this is the cover. I actually have this image, at least part of this image, as a, uh, like a, uh, blanket thing that I got from Army Army. Uh, even though I haven't finished watching the show, I know I'm going to really like it just because of, uh, it's a bones mecha. And I, really, I, really, I always like those shows, and uh, I have seen half of this already, and I really liked it anyway, so... Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty standard group shot, it's one of the main group shots, uh, apart from it doesn't have the main character in it, but it's the other three main characters and obviously the uh, mecha in the background. And uh, it will, this, will cover, this cover will change somewhat, but we do have a final version of the first cover, which has obviously our main guy on it, and then the mecha in the background. I love the discs on this one, <laughs> they look really freaking cool. And overall, I think this is a really cool color. I really like it. And uh, yeah, while it's, I imagine this will change just a little bit. Obviously, this collection bit will look more like this, etc. Maybe, maybe they'll match it up. So um, you know, the logo here moves up top or something, and this will move down here. I don't know, but they'll probably change it a little bit. But I imagine this image will stay the same because it's one of the best images that represents the other characters that are, that are out there. But yeah, really awesome job on the uh, covers for this. And I really look forward to owning the whole show at last and being able to watch it. Um, Q Collection 2. Again, subtitle only, DVD and Blu-ray. <laughs> Here is the uh, uh, the first cover for uh, Collection 2, I guess, the unfinalized cover. And uh, it's much more in line now with the uh, finalized cover for Collection 1. Um, because obviously if you remember before it was basically this image but with just a standard white background this is much more stylized and looks way better and I imagine that um, uh, this one will fall more in line with this one just ever so slightly where you might have the, the volleyball net going across but uh, <laughs> someone on a fandom post I forgot who they're called unfortunately but some of the fandom post has made this cover now hilarious to me because they said it looks like they're all trying not to vomit or something we got like the sweat beads and they're all like, gr like uh, grimacing and like holding back, like I don't know, like <laughs> it just sort of, sort of, sort of like ruined the image for me. I didn't really, it didn't look like that to me before. It's kind of weird that none of them are looking straight forward either. Um, in this one, you see the main character, this guy. There, but at least these two are looking relatively straight forward at us. But in this one, they're all looking somewhere over here or down here. So it's a bit weird, but I think this will. Ch probably not change I think they might change it a little bit I mean I, I definitely think they'll put the volleyball net across but other than that I doubt it will change that much so yeah it's cool that it's come out on blu-ray still and all that and I think the finalized version looks really nice with the discs and stuff again like Funimation holy crap guys imagine if we got discs like this from Funimation how nice it would be I mean both of these look amazing anyway uh, next we've got the kawaii complex guide to manners and hostile behavior I have already watched this series, I watched it um, not quite as it was airing, I think I watched the first couple of er episodes while it was airing and then went and watched all of it once it's finished. And I love this series because it's so much like Maze on a Koku, where you've got like this eccentric cast of people all in this like uh, hostel apartment building together and uh, you've got the Blossom love story between two of the characters that are sort of like polar opposites but sort of not and they're awkward together but the the outside like other residents and stuff are really hilarious with eccentric characters and I, I just love this series uh, it's DVD only for now but it will be coming out on Blu-ray later I, I'm almost 100% certain it's another TBS thing where yeah like I said earlier since I get the rights to the DVDs so they put it out as soon as possible on DVD and they'll put Blu-ray out later on Sad it's not getting a dub, I think this show would have done really well with a dub because you've got, like I said, the eccentric cast of characters, I feel like it would have really benefited from a dub, but as I've already watched it in Japanese and thoroughly enjoyed it, it's not the end of the world. Um, so that's uh, this one, and this beautiful cover, this is such a beautiful cover, it's, I can't remember what the main female character is. It's not going to tell me, is it? Oh, Ritsu, okay. Uh, did it, did it, yeah. So this is Ritsu. I'm terrible at character names. My friends all know it. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before. I never remember any characters' names ever. I'm a face person. I don't. I remember faces, not names. But anyway, I really love this image. I think it looks really good. Uh, people. Some people are saying that. Well, it doesn't really convey a, the show uh, well in terms of having a group shot, and I can totally agree. 
but it's such a beautiful image I'm kind of like well if they chose to use this I certainly wouldn't mind I, I really like what they do with the logo down here I think it looks really really cool and I hope that whatever they do with the finalized cover that this logo idea the concept of doing it like this is certainly uh, what they uh, go with because I think it looks really nice but yeah I'd really like it if they left this image as it is but I guess it doesn't fully convey the show because right now this looks like a really you know very very showho series and even though it is sort of somewhat a showho series I guess in some aspects um, it, 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 it is uh, not as a uh, uh, can't really think of the right like watercolory and like light and I can't really describe it. Doesn't really. Th this image does not convey really what the show's like, but it is a very nice image, and I'm quite a big fan of it. But yeah, if they change it, they change it. It's a shame that Sentai Filmworks don't do slip covers or something, because then you could have had this as a slip cover and then had a group shot underneath or vice versa. That would have been cool. But yeah, really happy that this is finally coming out. Just gonna, but I'm obviously going to have to wait a little bit longer for the Blu-ray. But hopefully the Blu-ray will be out before the end of the year. Uh, next we have Hayate the Combat Butler season one. Uh, subtitle only. Uh, they haven't gone back and redubbed it, but obviously they've, they've been putting out the other seasons. So this is this is a rescue from uh, Bandai Entertainment. And it's coming out on Blu-ray. Uh, the original Bandai Entertainment release was eight DVD volumes. I used to own those, but I cashed in on them when someone gave me an offer. I could not refuse. But yeah, it's supposed to be a zany uh, uh, slice of life like comedy thing. And uh, where is, there we go. So this is one of the volumes that. Uh, covers that were on the, one of the volumes of the Bandai Entertainment DVD releases, don't remember which one, but it was one of them. And uh, yeah, this is coming to Blu-ray. Uh, the cool thing about that is the show is was actually animated in high definition. I'm pretty darn sure it was done in high definition, so that's really cool. Um, going back to the fact that this is subtitle only still, is kind of a shame because there is a dub in uh, Asia, an English dub that was done for the series so it's sort of a shame that Sentai didn't try and get a hold of that um, kind of like what uh, NIS America did with Car Captor Sakura I mean the dub might not be that great like there's a good chance it probably isn't but hey a dub's a dub and it makes your sh makes your product probably more sellable to people like there might be a lot of people that won't there are unfortunately people out there that won't buy a show if it doesn't have a dub which I think is sad but hey each to their own so but uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll actually end up getting this. It's a pretty good deal. I mean, it's all 52, I believe, episodes in one complete Blu-ray box set, which is, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't know what the price will end up being, but it's kind of cool they're putting it all in one set and putting it out on Blu-ray. So yeah, I will tell you Combat Butler. It's good to see it back in print, I guess. Uh, and then we've got Kamigami no Asubi. Uh, that's the wrong one. There we go. A uh, nice cover. I like the canvas texture they've used for it. <laughs> this series is a, is based on a visual novel, and it won't be. That's not going to be surprising when I tell you what it's about. Uh, it's like this high school girl who, well, once she leaves high school, she doesn't really know what to do with her life. And the this god, I can't, I can't remember which one it is, like Zeus, I think it might be. I don't know. But like one of, one of the gods ends up like sending her to this like other realm or parallel universe. I don't know. Where she ends up finding herself in this school with like eight um, uh, like moody uh, gods and they're all like from different uh, mythologies and stuff like Japanese, Egyptian, Greek so you got like Thor and Loki and then you've obviously got uh, obviously he says not knowing any other Egypt like, not knowing any Egyptian ones that are coming to his mind right now but whatever you know you got like uh, yeah Greek uh, Egyptians and uh, Japanese mythology like gods and stuff all in this school <laughs> and yeah it's like the reverse harem thing like she's meant to like uh, they're all probably partner candidates to some extent I guess I don't know but uh, I don't know like it, it, it's got a really nice soundtrack to it I, at least I looked at the preview on Crunchyroll and the music on it was really nice and uh, the animation looks pretty good I mean it's a sh it's sort of a shame it's like what it is because I would really really like to watch a show the anime series that is based on like just a bunch of different gods and different mythologies and stuff but this is not the show I want it like this is not the genre I wanted that show to be in shall I say but uh, it looks cool and uh, yeah I don't know really much else about it but it's a nice color um, they'll, they'll probably change it a little bit but maybe not that much because yeah I think this is pretty much finalized anyway moving on uh, Love Chinobio and Other Delusions Heartthrob uh, DVD English and Japanese with English subtitles so 
yeah, uh, this is the second season of Le Chenoyo and Other Delusions, and this is much... Don't worry that this is DVD only right now. This is just like the other ones I was talking about earlier. The Blu-ray will come later. The only question about the Blu-ray is, will it get a standard Blu-ray, or will it get another limited crazy edition like the first series got? I'm going to guess that surely Sentai won't be stupid enough not to do this again, unless it's sold really badly, which I don't think it did. I'm pretty sure it didn't. So, because otherwise you can't really have this ridiculous over giant box set for the first series and then just like a single Blu-ray keep case for the second series, it would look kind of stupid. But uh, uh, this one is dubbed, the original DVD release uh, was subtitle only and then the, the first time the dub came out was for this version which was obviously a Blu-ray and DVD combo. But uh, yeah, this will have the dub straight out the gate, so, so those of you who just really really want to see the show uh, the second series dubbed as soon as possible, you could go and buy this DVD and then sell it later on when the Collector's Edition Blu-ray comes out, which I'm pretty darn sure it will. So yeah, for those of you who can't wait, the DVD's out there dubbed and everything for you as soon as you want it. And finally, very interesting, Vampire Hunter D, which is coming out on DVD and Blu-ray, uh, obviously with the original Urban Vision dub. And here is the cover, and it looks amazing and terrible all at once because I really love the artwork in the background the artwork for Vampire Hunter D has always been amazing the logo though even though it kind of is very much like the original Japanese logo looks fucking terrible on this release like please god change it Sentai like find something that looks way more classy and gothic even if it isn't the uh, proper logo for the series. If you can get permission to make your own logo, then please do because this just looks terrible. <laughs> it really does. At least, or at least make it smaller. Like, if you're gonna have to use this logo, make it smaller, or maybe change the vampire hunter text or something that's a bit more gothic. I don't know, but uh, yeah, really cool that this is coming out. Um, it's weird that Sentai decided to get Vampire Hunter D. I know it was the one that really sold really well for Urban Vision, and it essentially bankrolled the eventual release of uh, Bloodlust. But Bloodlust is by far the better movie. By far. So I find it weird that clearly both of these were up for grabs in terms of rights for Blu-ray and Discotech got Bloodlust and Sentai Filmworks got the original Vampire Hunter D. So it's kind of weird like that that, that was even split up and I kind of understand Sentai getting the original because that's the one that loads of people bought and loads of people probably have great nostalgia for. But, without a doubt, Bloodlust is the better one, by far. So, anyway, whatever. Uh, Vampire Hunter Defense Sentai. And that's everything for the August 2015 solicitations. Um, and we'll be back in a month, or I'll be back in a month, talking about the uh, September 2015 release solicitations from Sentai. And probably made in Japan, I think the third Pat Labour movie will come out in September as well. So, yeah. I'm Blaze, thanks for listening, and uh, tell me your thoughts on any of these releases, which ones you're interested in, etc. And we can get a little discussion about any of the covers, etc, etc, etc. And I'll see you next time. Bye.